Hey guys, um, first of all I would like to say thank you because um, yeah you were so active and the video got like yeah 300 views in the first 10 minutes or so and it already has 371 likes. Um, by the way I just um, wrote 400 likes but yesterday I asked for uh, 200 likes and I directly made the tutorial um, on the same day but I just uploaded it but for some reason it's uh, won't process so yeah but I made it that the same day because I'm not such a prick that I ask for 200 likes and doesn't make the video so yeah um, please stay so active and keep liking my videos because if you do so I will uh, upload as much content as now so that would be nice please so please like the video um, okay on this clip I already added some velocity and that's basically some slow motion and makes the clip faster at some spots and then slower um, yeah if you want a tutorial on that I will uh, do that just write in the comments but I won't explain in this tutorial so I al already split the clip where I, um, where the shot was taken but you then don't have to do that just remember the spot because the first thing we have to do is right click on the layer and insert a new video track and then go to your media generators then color gradient and then drag the elliptical ring on the spot where you shot then make this shorter like this and then go to your event pen and crop and at the first frame you uh, zoom out and then drag it this out as far as you can then go forward a few frames and go to your preset and change it to default and then drag it in till you can't see the ring anymore. So, um, because this looks shit, we have to add something to make it look more like the CC lens effect. By the way, I don't say that it looks exactly like the CC lens effect, but I think it looks pretty good and everyone has After Effects, so uh, please don't hate. So, go to the compositing mode, click on that, and go to custom. And then add the at the Sony hate map. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but as you know, I'm from Germany, and yeah. So yeah, then it will uh, look like this. So there are no specific um, settings, but maybe you can turn down the or turn up the smoothness, maybe to something like 20, or and you can play around with the elevation and stuff. But the thing you ha always have to do is because at the last few frames you see the black background and to change that you go to the edge pixel handling and change from trans transparent background to red pixels around. So okay that's, that's basically the first part of the effect. To make it look better you can also um, go to video FX and then spherize there and then drag the reset to none on your clip not on the elliptical ring you have to drag it on your clip so then go to animate and make sure that the sync cursor to media timeline is ticked like this then go to the first frame uh, yeah there should be a keyframe then go forward like two frames or so and then drag the amount to minus 700 or 600 or whatever you want and then go forward a few seconds till the ring disappears and then set it back to one uh... zero sorry so let me just preview this because um, you should always preview it because maybe sometimes it's the ring is too slow and sometimes too fast so yeah yeah but that looks pretty nice so if you want it to come earlier then just drag this in here or if you want to make it slower then go to the second keyframe and extend that like drag it out let's preview this, uh, this again so yeah guys please like the video because that really helps me okay that's pretty nice um... yeah and please like um, go on my channel and watch the uh, GTA 4 video I uploaded yesterday. I think it's pretty nice. Um, yeah.
if you have the time then watch it I will upload part 2 and 3 maybe today or tomorrow so yeah please uh, watch that and please stay active and like my videos and watch them yeah that would be nice so yeah that's it bye